girl period emotions are no joke I woke up yesterday feeling like super sad and like depressed feeling and I'm like why do I feel like this girl I went to the bathroom figured it out real quick okay real quick my menstrual cycle is like different every single month I don't have like a set date so I never really know when it's coming I'm like so emotional and I just like feel so sad so I drove to this little park because I love this little park that I have near me and I just love to look around because the scenery is so beautiful. Like the other day, I was like not feeling the best, which if I would have known my menstrual cycle was coming, I would have been like, okay, I see what's going on. Um, and so I drove into this park and I sat here for like two hours watching like some episodes of the show I enjoy. And girl, I just sat here and I just, you know, looked at the wind, blowing the trees, um, looking at some dogs because there's like a little dog park. Am I the only one that just does not trust dog parks? Like, okay, when I first got Lockett, her vet was like, you really should take her to dog parks to get her like comfortable around other dogs. And I'm like, I don't think I'm taking my baby to a dog park. And then I seen like this lawyer has like this YouTube channel and he was saying like, never take your dog to a dog park because dogs die every single day at a dog park. Yeah, girl, no. And y'all know, I believe, and evil spirits and stuff like that and i'm just not taking the chance for my sweet little babies because i believe they have a light on them okay because they're mine anything that's mine has a light on it okay because girl i have a light on me okay anyways if you get it you get it if you don't that's on you mm -hmm. okay so anyway I just randomly drove to this little park. I feel like I never really drive anymore on camera no more. And that's because I, I rarely ever go out by myself. Like I used to go out by myself to like force myself to get out and like make content, but I never was comfortable out by myself. Um, I'm an independent person, but I, I've never really been comfortable going out by myself. And on top of that, I enjoy, I really enjoy when I have people with me, like either my mom, or Jordan, whoever the heck it is, I feel like it just makes it that much more enjoyable. Now look at that's not for everybody because I know not everybody just has like people to go out with them and like go on random span spontaneous. Go on random spontaneous like store trips and stuff like why am I doing all of this? Yeah, the other day I scratched my chin so bad because I'm doing all of this. Yeah, okay. And the person on nails I get, they're super sharp when I first get them. As I wear them, they dole out, but girl. So yeah, I don't really be doing like too much driving like that on camera no more because I barely drive. Like Jordan does all the driving for me. And I love that because I don't really like driving. I mean, I do, but I don't. And it's like, I really plan on getting a new car soon. And I know I'm gonna wanna drive it. So I'm just like, girl, start driving. Because at this point, what you about to buy a brand new car for if you're not gonna drive it? And what kind of car do I plan on getting? I don't know. I really want a Jeep Wrangler. For some reason like i wanted a jeep cherokee for so long but they're kind of becoming ugly ugly to me and like the new models are just like bleh. i don't really like them dude them grand wagon ears are disgusting looking i'm sorry i don't like the way they look maybe i just feel like that now because i used to think broncos were ugly but now i love broncos no i used to think hummers were ugly now i like them big old things them big old tanks so i just be talking i come around but i want a 2024 jeep wrangler because I seen that like the new 2024s have like the big screens in them and they're super cute but I probably won't get one anytime soon just because like that down payment is like I've had to put a really good down payment on my mom's car to get that payment real low because I don't like large payments like when I got this car y'all I love my little car I always say that that's why I'm just gonna buy it out because I'm not getting rid of my car I'm not doing it um so when I got this car I think I was 17 years old and I needed my car payment to be low because my mom always taught me about miles. Like when I got my car, it had like 27,000 miles on it, like no miles on it. And I needed my car payment to be low. And I was planning on putting like $3,000 on my car. Well, when I got there, they were like, since you already have a car here, cause I had got my mom a car at this one place. They said, we have to make sure that you're gonna be able to pay like both payments, something like that. I forgot, it was something like that. So they was like, you gotta pay like 500 some, 500 some dollars a month. I'm like, I'm not paying $500 a month for a car payment, girl, no. So they were like, every thousand you put down, you can get it $100 less. So I put down $6,000 and I didn't really have too much money at the time, but that's like all I had in my savings. So I put down the $6,000 and I cried and I cried and I cried, but girl, it was very smart because my car payment is very low and I can really afford my car payment. Like it's a low car payment and I love that. So the more you put down, the lower your car payment's going to be. So I would definitely suggest if you want to get a car, save up a nice down payment so that your car payment can be low because you never know what can happen and like you just want to be able to make your car payment. You feel what I'm saying? So yeah, I'm gonna get a Jeep Wrangler. So um, yeah, but whenever, whatever's in the Lord's time and I will, but but I just put down like a nice down payment on my mom's new SUV. I just bought her a brand new 2023 SUV. 
so i don't think it's smart to like do a whole nother down payment like that would be like so stupid um yeah i try to be smarter with my money and my bills and stuff like that so with that being said i want a new car but most likely i won't be getting one no time so but we'll see just like i wasn't planning on getting my mom a car out of nowhere but we did that's how jesus works like i don't know where things just change and that's how jesus is he's just amazing like your life can literally change in one day for the good with jesus okay anyways um i came out here because i got some packages delivered so i was like i want to get out of the house i want to have like some scenery but i also have some packages so i'm just going to go ahead and share with you guys what i got from sephora i just went to ulta yesterday and then i have some things from bath and body works so girl let's get into it okay so i'm just going to go ahead and quickly show you guys because my lashes are so cute love these lashes they are so cute they curl super beautiful and these are the lashes go to your ulta and see if they have these if not they have them on the website but i've had these lashes on for days y'all they say they last 24 hours but with the glue i use i've had these on for days and i have got my face wet twice in the shower and they're still on so it's the curly impress press on falsies it says just press and go but i still put glue on that's why they say it lasts 24 hours oh that bug just flew on my dang window gone somewhere ugly Look at how you looking. Man, I'm not gonna lie. God created some ugly little bugs. Uh, and they're super curly, y'all. So I've just been using these um, for my lashes, y'all. Because I haven't really been wearing makeup. And these make me feel so pretty. They're so cute. So I get the curly. I don't get the spiky, the, the voluminous, the fluffy, none of that. I get the curly. Okay, girl. Because they have like a D curl. Like, they're so pretty. So yeah, those are the lashes that I'm wearing. I guess I'll do the, the best first. I usually like save the best for last. But might as well get the best first out of the way this is gonna cheer me up because y'all my period emotions are going crazy i just don't remember ever feeling this way but probably i just thought i had like a little attitude but really it's my period emotions as well as my cramps are crazy this time around usually i don't have cramps like that and if i do they're only for like one of the days girl i had cramps all yesterday all night this morning so i've been taking heck of my dolls but this is my Sephora package, girl. Yes, I am so excited. Okay, so I purchased two perfumes because I had bought this perfume before and when I was like spraying it, I didn't really like it at all. So I gave it to my mom. But then as of lately, I've had some samples of this and I have kind of been obsessed. And so I'm like, okay, I'm sorry. I got to buy it again. So it was a little bit pricey it was like 165 but i love this and when i went to the er the other day not the other day it was like last week the nurse was like oh my gosh your perfume is so pretty my mom's like girl what is that perfume you need to start wearing that a lot more and i'm like okay i'm about to buy another bottle so i got the number five lou chanel paris perfume and i'm gonna go ahead and open it in a minute though um, and then I also got this. Oh my gosh, this box is big. So let me tell you, I got a little bit of a story time about this fragrance because girl. Okay, so one time I went to Sephora and I was looking for a fragrance. And mind you, a lot of fragrances that people like, I just don't like. I'm really picky with my fragrance. That sounds weird and it sounds very like vague, if that's the word. I don't know. But anyways, this dang employee was like, you have to try out these perfumes. Like everybody loves them. And every single one she's showing me is disgusting. She's like, I love this one. Try this one. I'm like, mm, no finally she pulls out this one and i was like okay i like that one i like that one well i come back in to buy another bottle because mine was almost gone we're like halfway gone but y'all know and my mama wanted one so i went in there to go buy another one and buy my mom one she was like didn't you just come in here and buy that i'm like girl why are you keeping track it's been like a month and um i was like yeah girl i like to spray my stuff like body spray like honestly don't do that i'm like girl i can do what i want anyways i forgot what i said but i had to say it like in a respectful but also girl check yourself type of way well that brand new box i bought don't know where it went it's lost also the bottle that i had is gone so both of those perfumes disappeared out of nowhere haven't been able to find them like i don't understand what happened and it'll never make sense to me how those perfumes just went missing so i've been so mad at myself about like losing them and not knowing where they went so i never bought myself another bottle mind you they only used to come in a 1.7 ounce well, they just came out with 3.4 ounce so i was like you know what since i'm gonna buy this blue perfume i'm gonna buy this myth perfume it is what it is so it's the ellis brooklyn myth perfume girl it is literally one of the best perfumes i have ever had in my life and i see this new box it's kind of cool but how do i get it out like do you just like push it out like how does this work girl 
what I'm posted. Oh my gosh, it's the side of it. Stop playing. That's too. <gasps> Girl, stop it. No, let me show y'all this. Girl, this is one of the most cleanest perfumes ever. And I love that it has white musk in it because it's just so beautiful, y'all. It smells like soap, like, but not like a cheap soap. Oh my gosh, y'all, stop playing. So I got this big myth perfume because they used to only come in the 1.7s, but now they got this big one. Hold on, y'all. And I haven't smelt it since I lost my dang fragrances. Girl, I really lost some things. Like, they're gone. Like, I must have, like, I don't know. I can't, rec I don't recall ever. Like, I don't know. I don't want to talk about it because I'm so upset. Love the magnetic freaking um, cap. Hold on. Ooh. Girl, because this stuff stopped playing. Oh, my gosh. Stop it, girl. Girl, this is the all-around fragrance. I'm sorry. It just smells like I just got out of the shower and I'm the cleanest person in the universe. I'm gonna smell the cleanest in the world. Stop me right now, like you gotta stop me because if you don't stop me, what am I gonna do? And then my Chanel Lou. This is more of like a powdery fragrance. People say it's old lady-ish, not to me. I mean, okay, at first I thought it was, but then it grew on me. Like it mixes with my chemistry like none other. Ooh, I had to turn that AC on like crazy because my freaking camera keeps overheating. So I keep having to put it up to the AC, but it's like, like I told y'all before, the better the setting I put my camera on, like the better the quality, the more it overheats. So this is the box. I already know what this smells like, so I'm not even gonna spray it. But girl, look how freaking beautiful. It's so powdery and so pretty. Oh my gosh, I love Chanel fragrances. I'm sorry, like Chanel, they do their thing. And the thing with Chanel is it's worth the, it's worth, not worst, it's worth the investment because their fragrances last so long. Like that little sample, I only sprayed one of that. And I got so many compliments, like, girl. And then Bath & Body Works had a sale, buy three, get three free. And then I also had a free item on my account. So, girl, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dry shampoos. I got three A Thousand Wishes dry shampoos. I got two Japanese cherry blossoms, two champagne toasts. And, girl, we are in business. They have the best dry shampoos, like, I'm not even going to lie. They literally smell top here like girl these dry shampoos go crazy like literally if you just wore dry shampoo you would smell like the dry shampoo because their dry shampoos are so strong they have the best smelling dry shampoos and y'all know i was sad when so de janeiro discontinued their dry shampoo like girl what was y'all thinking anyways i'm doing my package y'all i gotta start heading home because my family's waiting on me we are headed to lansing to go ahead and go pick up my nephew for the week summer is ending so we won't be able to do like the super long visits anymore we'll have to do like weekend visits go up stay in like a hotel whatever the heck but yeah we're gonna go ahead and get him for the week i really want to stop by the beauty supply store because y'all know i'm trying to grow my hair and i have been keeping my hair in these braids because my hair grows really fast in these braids and then moisturizing it um, I've been washing it a little bit more consistently because the cleaner scalp really promotes hair growth so yeah let me head home and we're gonna all get my mom's car and we're gonna head to Lansing and go get this little boy okay Zaire here we come I just love the packaging I do too. It is so cute. Okay, so I made it to the beauty supply store and we are grabbing some hair products and they have this new like braiding jam and jelly, but I want to use it for when I do like my slick bag ponytails and stuff. And I just love the packaging. It's like this matte packaging and it's like clear. It's so pretty. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this. My mom wants to grab a little one because she wants to be safe. Y'all know I'm never really safe. Yeah, I want to try this big. one. Yeah. And then I want to try this one because they oh, both look okay. pretty thick. You know? Right. So I gonna, see. Whichever one is good, then I'll come back and get it again. Come back and get it again. Okay, perfect. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and grab okay. this. And then I'm going to grab two bottles of this Do Grow Mega Thick Hair Lotion because my mom used this in my hair growing up and my hair was like Rapunzel. And it smells really nice. <laughs> so my mom's going to grab one too. So yeah. we're going to grab some Do Grow because girl, I need to... I need to get my locks back, y'all. So I don't know which one to get. I mean, to be honest, like you can mix them all if you want. Yeah. In a container, I have some containers. Okay. That you can my brown ones. That Actually, you can mix them I just in. bought some cute little pink containers. So okay, you so can mix them. Hmm. I'm gonna make another hair grow grease where I like mix a bunch of different greases together and use that. So I guess I'll grab this super. Oh, this is for growing. Yeah. Super that's short what I grow. Used to use in your hair. Okay, so or I'm cool. gonna grab this. Yeah yeah 
And this is supposed to seal in the moisture. But man, I wouldn't mind using some castor oil and mixing it. What? Oh, the castor, castor oil? oil mixing with the Supergirl? I think that would be great. That would be pretty good. I think the coconut oil might smell good, though. I mean, yeah. Here, does. let me smell it. I'm going to smell the castor oil first. Okay. Ooh, let me smell it. I like that. Yes. Mm, this smells like stuff the, I used to use Yeah, you used to use yeah. my hair. Okay. And then, let's smell the coconut oil. Okay, it's not as strong, but it smells good. Yeah. Twin it. <laughs> Twin in. Twin in. All okay. Right. So, so which one, one did you get? I got the Super Short Grow. Okay, well, I'm going to get that. And I and got the castor oil. Yes. I just want to smell the hair food because it's, it's... That's going to smell good. It's neon. Yeah. So it's like... Okay. That's strong. I know that is really strong. Yeah, that's strong. super strong. Prevents hair breakage. Hmm. Let me see on Let's the other just... side. Let's see if they have any other ones. Okay. The purple one looks softer. I might want to get a softer one. I want to try out a shampoo brush. So I'm going to grab this purple shampoo brush. I'm going to grab a pink one. Okay. Nice. I Perfect. would go for the pink, but this one just looks softer. Doesn't it? Or no? They look the same to me. They do? Turn to the side. Turn to the side. For some reason, I'm just thinking this one looks softer. Go with the purple. I'm just going to go with the purple. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's see what else we can get. Ooh, see, they have the super grow greases over here. Yeah. yeah oh my, mom, lavender and lemongrass. Oh, what? Lavender and lemongrass? Hold on, let's smell these. Oh Ooh, and they have maximum strength, double strength. Let's smell. Hmm. Should we just get the maximum strength? Because yeah, this is a thickener. That. Yeah, we can do that. Okay, so instead of the purple one, we're going to get this one because this one is maximum strength. It's fun mixing them together, too. I'm going to try this out, too. This is the Luster's Pink Grow. What is that? Compliance? I'm not sure. It's a hairdress, and it promotes hair growth. So I'm going to go ahead and try that out. Ooh, the other dude grows. Okay, I guess I'll grab one more because might as well. Triple strength. I'm going to add a little bit of everything. Go ahead. Do it. All right. All right. That completes my trip. I'm pretty sure the only other thing I got when I said that I was done shopping were these shoes. And I've seen these shoes on people and I wanted to order them on Amazon, but like there was a lot of people on Amazon saying they weren't true to size. And she let me try them on. She was so sweet. And I got some bubble shoes. So I got these bubble shoes. I'm still young, so I can wear uncomfortable shoes. <laughs> um, I know they're gonna be uncomfortable, but I don't care. They're so cute and affordable. Love them. They're bubble shoes. They're so cute. These are gonna be so cute with size. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh! <laughs> they're gonna be cute with socks, um, even without socks, with sweatpants. Girl, they're gonna be them shoes. So yeah, got some bubble shoes and then the rest of the stuff you guys already see. Girl, this rain, what the heck? It's finally slowing down, but it was so bad just a minute ago. I'm just running up to, oh my gosh, my mouth is so dry, my throat is so dry. I'm just running up to Starbucks because I'm so tired. I did not barely have any caffeine today because it was making me sick. For some reason, Celsius energy drinks make me sick and I did not know what they did um, until the other day I was drinking one and I finished it and I felt super sick. And my mom was like, girl, that make me feel sick. I was like, no, like, I don't think it's the Celsius. Well, girl, I drank one today, like not even half of one and I felt so sick so I put that junk down. And then I drank a Gatorade to like flush it out. That was like my theory and I believe it worked. Um, but girl, now I'm like super tired. So I'm gonna run to Starbucks or I'm running to Starbucks right now. I'm running. I'm going to Starbucks right now so that I can grab like a little coffee. I haven't drank coffee in two and a half weeks, y'all. Like three weeks. I haven't drank coffee in so long because coffee just tastes so gross to me now. I don't know where. But let me grab like a little coffee because I'm sure I can deal with it today. Hold on, I have more to say. I'm a talker. I don't remember them being that. I said grande. I didn't say venti. Why is it eight dollars and six cents? Girl, what? Um, maybe I'm forgetting how much the price is. I'm kind of scared to put my phone out to even do the scanning because girl, it's raining like crazy. But anyways, um, yeah, I'm giving me a little coffee because girl, I'm tired. But we, we picked up my nephew. He fell asleep in the car, y'all. That boy get big. I don't understand. It's like every single time I see my nephew, he's bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, but anyways, don't mind these cords right here. I have like a dash cam and like a back dash cam now. It's a smart way to go. But anyways, I have so much to say that my mind is running at a million miles per hour. I'm like, what else, what else? Because I had so much to say. My family does not like me going about myself. They are crazy because I'm like, I'm about to go to Starbucks. My mom's like, you're going by yourself? I'm like, yeah, you're gonna drive yourself. I'm like, I'm gonna drive myself. And then 
Jordan was like, you're going by yourself? I'm like, yeah. When I first got my car, like all my family is just like, no. I mean, I remember when I first got my car, my oldest brother Cameron, he had came over one night and it was nighttime, but I was craving KFC and I took off. He was like, and I was getting ready to take off. He was like, girl, you don't need me to drive you? I'm like, no. He's like, you sure you don't want me to drive you? I'm like, I'm good. Then my older brother Xavier was like, anytime you ever need me, if you ever feel I'm, anytime, call me and I will be there in 2.5 seconds. Then Brent always wanted to come with me somewhere. I'm like, what the heck? No, I got Jordan and my mom's always like, girl, no. But if I'm going through a drive through I don't really care. The other day, I did go grocery shopping and this guy purposely tried to touch me with his, like his body. Like he moved his body and I ducked like this. I said, girl, let me get the heck out the stove because it's like every single time I go out, people are trying it. And I ain't got time for this. Like, no, I'm covered by the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, ma'am. But I just, no, I'm already not comfortable going by myself. But I did the other day. I was like, you know what? Screw it. I got to get these groceries. Um, hold on, y'all. Girl, they sitting the Starbucks cups out. Them is cute. I got like a Starbucks cup addiction right now. It's weird. Hello. And Apple Pay. Oops. It is going to prompt you for a tip before you take your card. Just wait. Okay. Thank you so much. Yep. Stay Thank you. Okay, girl. I got my little coffee. Let me adjust y'all back to my face because at this point, um, let me hit. What is he doing? Yeah, watch yourself. People drive a little reckless out where I live now. I'm like, um, why y'all be driving like this? And I never drive out here because I don't be knowing where to go. Where you going, bro? What are we doing? He just like stuck his truck right there. Okay, girl. Let me have my little butt home. My little happy butt home. Let me get this damn caffeine in. My mom's gonna cook some food. I was gonna offer my family to go out to eat, but um, the rain was super bad on the highway and Jordan is so tired. Um, but I'm sure my mom's already starting to cook. But yeah, I was gonna offer, but I was like, the rain's so bad, my baby's tired, so. My mama's just gonna make some food. It's gonna be what it's gonna be. Get this caffeine in, yes. People drive crazier in the rain. I'm like, y'all need to be more cautious in the rain because hydroplaning and you have less control of your vehicle when it's raining, you can see less. So I don't understand why people drive crazier in the winter and in the rain. And it's like they drive super slow, like they're 50,000 years old in the summertime. Mm. That's good. That sweet cream foam goes crazy. Um, so yeah, it was an in and out little Lansing trip. We got to the Beauty Supply store because we had enough time to, and then I paid my P.O. box, and then we grabbed Zaire. I was gonna go to Target, but I was like, hmm, I spent about $100 in the Beauty Supply store. I think I'm good. So we're just gonna head home. So my mom's gonna make some food. She probably just gonna chill with my nephew. I need to get home and um, start organizing some hygiene products in like a little shoe armoire. If y'all didn't watch one of my recent vlogs, I've been storing stuff in like these shoe armoires. Anyways, girl. That was kind of fun. I wanna go to a water park. Starbucks run. Let's get home, cause I wanna make that hair grow grease. Yeah! I hate yield roundabouts. I don't like that. And then, girl, we'll see what else is going to happen. Yeah, but update on my burn. The other day, I went to go dry my hand, and the skin came right, like, the little skin that went over the blister. It just came off because I dry my hands way too rough. And I be having to, like, wrap it in, like, a bunch of tape when I wash my hair and wash my body, and it comes off. I just, it's a, it's a mess, y'all. My little car, what I like about my car is that I can take my hands off the wheel, and this mother truck can stay straight. I love the alignment of this car. My little vehicle, no, that's why I'm buying it. Because I only have a couple more payments until they ask for like a couple thousand to buy it. And I'm just gonna buy it and then get a new car because I love this little car. I love it. It's so great. I drive this mug, I'm not gonna lie. It's just more work when you got a big car. So it's like I want a Jeep Wrangler and I'm gonna get a Jeep Wrangler. But um, my little car drives smooth. And I remember the first day I bought it because I didn't drive like that. I didn't drive too much before I got this car. And I remember getting into this car and feeling like it was just like a an extension of my body. Like it's so easy to drive. I just love my little car. This coffee's popping, y'all. This coffee is popping. 
my room so well the other day in my bathroom deep cleaned it two days later here we are and my junk is back to crazy I'm trying to grow my hair though i'll be doing these two little braids with some pink lotion i've been doing pink lotion every single day freak i forgot to buy a bottle of pink lotion at the store but i got two bottles to do grow so that's gonna work y'all don't know how long my hair was growing up i had the longest hair in every single school i went to the longest hair that was the first thing parents said about me when they see me it was like oh my gosh her hair is so long my mom did my hair every single day okay y'all so this was the shoe armoire thing i was telling y'all about i ain't got too much space between this and this but i'm gonna go ahead and empty out this body care box as well as another one downstairs after i get done with this one So this is the progress. I got the top shelf done and the bottom shelf done. On this third shelf, I just have like a bunch of random like hygiene packages and honestly just like a lot of random stuff. That bag has like razor refills and it's packed with a bunch of period products because when I moved from my mom's house, I had like a drawer full of period stuff and I just put it all in that bag. And it's just been in my hygiene closet in my old apartment. So now I have that. Which if I would have known that, I wouldn't have been stacking up on like tampons and stuff like that because there's tons in there. I have like a Sephora package, a Walmart package. That Walmart package has a bunch of razor refills that I got on sale. I have Rihanna perfume in that box and just like a bunch of random stuff, honestly. And then down here, I was like, why even organize these products when I can just put the whole entire bin in there? So I just have like a bunch of random products in here too. I have Epsom salt and baby wipes right there. And that is the end of today's hygiene organization all of this is deodorant and i have like an empty container in my other hygiene closet um my main hygiene closet that i can put all of those in yeah so this container right here is for my deodorants and it's basically empty so i'm gonna go ahead and put those in there okay so i'm gonna quickly go ahead and straighten up the laundry room because it is getting super dusty super fast i'm gonna go ahead and vacuum wipe down everything and put these somewhere so i can go ahead and get this laundry room looking good okay when i get a hold of the toolbox i need to go ahead and put this above those two because i put my gather sign up here so it's, it's looking pretty cute y'all oh yeah you know what i need to also go ahead and refill that vinegar bottle so i got some things i need to go ahead and do with this laundry room
I got the laundry room all straightened up and clean. It looks amazing. I just wiped everything down with bleach. I refilled that vinegar container. And then like I told you guys, I put up the gather sign and I was gonna put up a sign directly across. But Jordan didn't put it directly across. He put it a little bit too low, but there's already a hole in the wall, so I don't wanna keep messing with it. But everything looks great, guys. So yeah, that's done. And then like a week and a half ago, I cleaned out my closet. So I got everything looking super tidy and good. I just have so many clothes. I have clothes back there. I have clothes back there. I just put those clothes that were on top of the dryer in there. All of these are pretty much full. I don't know where I'm gonna put that sign yet. It could go somewhere in the laundry room. I don't really know you guys. I just put on these little shorts that I had. I don't know, I'm getting super hot. So I was like, I'm just gonna go ahead and put these on. I took off my hat because that thing is making your girl hot, okay? But yeah, my mom is frying up some chicken. I Oh, I don't like that. It's kind of giving camel toe. I don't know. My mom is frying up some chicken. And girl, I am hungry. I cannot wait to eat. I haven't eaten since this morning. And all I ate was like this little warm-up meal. And girl, my head is spinning. I need food. But I love having this mirror in my closet because I just close this door and I have like all of my robes right here. I close this door and I'm able to get dressed and just see what my outfit looks like. And it is such a vibe. I have my first walk-in closet. I mean, my other one was pretty walk-in, but it wasn't like as spacious as this one. Like I have way more space to walk around and I just love it. So yeah, my shoes, that's why I had to go ahead and buy another armoire, like a shoe armoire, because I have no space to put any more shoes. Back there, I have one of my coach bags and I'm not going to put anything else back there. Um, and then I have like some hats. They're like unorganized right now, but I've been wearing like hats every single day because I've been wearing these braids and I want to like look stylish still. So yeah, I just have so many clothes. And then my room... I'm not cleaning it today. I'm just, I'm not. I'll probably do it tomorrow when I get done editing. It looks a freaking mess. It is scary in here, you guys. Like, I don't know what the heck is going on, but it is, it's bad. It is, it's pretty sick. In this package right here, I have a sunscreen because on one of my recent vlogs, um, I was showing you guys that I bought four of the mermaid like little mermaid black girl sunscreens because they had them on sale for like nine bucks and they're originally like 17 or 16 dollars and it came in this big gigantic box with these tiny little sunscreens but one of them was actually opened already so i called ulta that night it was like late at night you guys it was like 11 o'clock at night and i told them one of my sunscreens had been opened and they're like, we're so sorry. So I got my replacement. And then in here, I just have a huge box of, ow, my nail. He's already on his way. Every single time I hurt myself, he's here in an instant. I hurt my nail, I did, I did, I did. Come here, kiss it. You trying to uh, open it up with your nail? Did this when I came off? Yes. Oh my gosh. Sometimes I'm over exaggerating because I know he's going to be on his way. Yeah. Hug me, hug me. Hug me. It was really hurtful. It sounded worse than it was. It did. I'm not gonna lie. The How way, you know I'm in pain? The way it whipped, it sounded like a, a mean paper cut or something. Oh, really? These are my flushable wipes. I always get these packs off of Amazon. Yes, it's the cheapest way to go. Cut no. I am so excited about this hair girl grease. So. I bought these containers on Amazon, these pink containers, and they come with their lids. And I am going to make a hair girl grease. This is super exciting because look how cute. Look how freaking cute. I don't want to bust my elbow. My new lemon pepper slippers. Hey, hey, hey. I am so excited about these dang shoes, you guys. Like, I can't. I am late on the trend, but I don't give a freak. Look how freaking cute. Cartoon vibes to the max. So cute. Oh my gosh. Love that. I love the lady in the beauty supply store. She's so sweet. She's the sweet one. The guy's a little bit more hardcore. So I asked him because I wanted to make sure that I could record because she always says yes. But like he was there this time. So I was like, like, is it okay if I record? Like I'm a YouTuber. All I'm going to do is like record the product. And he was like, yeah, hold on. And he was like, is it okay if she records? She was like, yeah, of course. And when I was looking at them shoes, I was like, are they true to size? She was like, I think they're a little big here. You can try them on. And so I went to go try them on and I couldn't get the tape off. She's like, let me open it for you. I'm like, you are so sweet. Y'all already know everything that I got, but I am just super excited about this. Um, I could use it on Jordan's hair. It says it's for locks too. You know what I forgot? 
I forgot to get Jordan's lock gel there. When I go back to Lansing, I need to grab his lock gel. Oh my gosh, I feel so stupid. I literally have like barely any left and I need to do that boy's hair. Cause they don't have no beauty supply stores out here. But anyway, I'm just super excited about this y'all because when I go to slick my hair, girl, I know that's gonna be so dope. Cause I always use like, I don't do it anymore, but I used to always use a jam before I did the gel. And that keeps your hair held, honey. My drill girl. I'm about to be like Rapunzel again. Okay. I'm about to get my hair so long and I am not screwing it up this time. I am not. My hair is going to be the healthiest of all. Super excited. Move clutter. Let's get started. So I'm going to start off with putting this maximum strength super grow hair grease in there. And this is to thicken your hair and it has vitamin E in it. So I'm going to put a big old scoop. All right. Get that in there. Come on, get up in there. Next, some Do Grow. Do Grow Hair Vitalizer, triple strength for severely damaged hair. Helps reduce breakage, allowing hair to grow longer. All right, we're gonna add a big old scoop of up. And this is gonna be the cutest container. And, oh, I think I'm putting too much. Cause am I gonna be able to fit all these? Yeah, I'm putting too much. Okay, I need to calm down with how much I'm putting in there. Now, the Blue Magic Originals Super Sure Grow. This has um, shea butter, jojoba oil, Japanese green leaf teas, and yeah, for natural styles, hair and scalp conditioner. Love the smell of that. Okay, just a little bit because I'm overdoing it here. I'm gonna add a little bit of my Do Grow Cream just to like soften it up a little bit. Um, I'm gonna add the castor oil, Blue Magic Originals. Yes, ma'am. Girl, my hair about to get right. Okay. I'm black and I'm proud. Hey, say it loud. I'm black and I'm proud. Say it loud. I'm gonna do the pink, uh, the hairdress stuff. So this is more of like a cream. We mixing it all and it smells so good too. All right, now I'm gonna add the Do Grow and we're gonna get started. Oh, that smells so good. The Dew Girl smells the best out of them all. So yeah, I would definitely suggest adding creams like the hairdress and the Dew Girl because it really softens it up and helps it to get mixed around. So yeah, girl, we're going to be using this consistently. Okay, because girl, I'm getting tired of these this bald head in this. I just, I'm tired of it. I can't be the only one that had long hair and then damaged it. And then I have to look back and be like, oh my gosh, like what the heck? This is my concoction. I like the consistency. I like it. It's like perfect and it smells so beautiful. Yeah, I like that. Ooh, I'm excited y'all. Ooh, my hair gonna be, my hair gonna be long. I'm gonna use what was on that spoon. And just put it at the top of my head. Ooh, girl. Look at that shine. Stop playing. Who wants some of my homemade hair grease? I'm just playing. I'm sorry. I know I keep talking about it, but I just cannot get over this dang packaging. I'm just like a product junkie. I get it. But it's better than being like any other junkie. You feel what I'm saying? So I just love products. Girl. But anyways, let me go ahead and add these perfumes to my collection, girl, because oh my gosh. Am I excited? But where the heck am I gonna put it at this point? Like, where are these gonna go? Okay, I'm gonna push those back and I'm gonna just like place it. No, cause it's like pushing these back. Oh, I have some space. Let's push these back. I'm keeping it in the box. So I'm just gonna like sit it right there until I'm ready to use it. Dang, my nails is looking like a junket. I'm just playing. I'm just gonna put this one right here. That's cute, I like that. Okay, it's a vibe, it's a vibe, it's a vibe. Girl, two new perfumes added to the collection. My mama just made me some fried chicken, rice, and broccoli. Girl, if you don't think I'm about to sit down and eat my food and chill, you crazy. With a nice cold Gatorade. right. Okay, girl, so I just put my hair up in like this little clip. I'm about to go ahead and hop in the shower and get my smell goods going. I haven't showered today. I showered last night, but I haven't showered today. So I'm about to go ahead and get a nice relaxing, relaxing shower. I just ate all my food and I was just watching the Ozark Family Homestead on YouTube. I really like it. I like watching them because they're so humble and I love how they're able to eat three times a day and stretch the budget so well. Anyways, I would definitely suggest checking them out. It's called the Ozark Family Homestead. It's a pretty cute YouTube channel. I really like it.
like it. Very wholesome. But anyways, your girl about to go ahead and hop in the shower and get her smell goods going. I got all my stuff laid out. I have my pajamas. I'm just gonna throw on some shorts. I'm gonna wear this little Mickey Mouse shirt. I got my underclothing. I got my pad. I need to go ahead and lay out some paper towel. I'm just gonna go ahead and lotion up with some Jergens. Um, spray some of this Dove cucumber deodorant and spray up with my Dark Kiss body spray. And then here in the shower, I'm just gonna go ahead and clean up with a Dial Bar Soap, um, some Dove body wash, and my Baby Dove. Yes ma'am, keeping it simple, okay. And if you're wondering why I took my lashes off, I took them off because I've had them on for like a pretty long time and I wanna go ahead and like have fresh lashes on so I wanna go ahead and like refresh them. So I took them off and I'll probably go ahead and like redo them, redo them, not tomorrow, but probably like the day after that because I've had them on for a pretty long time. So yeah, I'm about to go ahead and hop in the shower, get my smell goods on, and then tell y'all goodnight. Let's get my nightly essential oils going. Y'all, it is such a vibe, especially when you put like some fresh sheets on and you get some essential oils going. Girl! At nighttime, I really enjoy smelling the lemon essential oil. So I'm gonna put some drops in there. Some people say like two to three drops. Girl, I put like a million because it just doesn't last long at all. All right, I got my lemon essential oils in. Yes, ma'am. And let's get started. I love this little setup, you guys. It is such a vibe. Y'all know I used to use this for my fabric softener at my old apartment, but I was like, you know what? Since we don't need it anymore, it would be perfect for the water for my oil diffuser. But oh my gosh, that lemon smell is so soothing. I'm pretty sure people use lemon to like wake up, but I use it to go to bed. This is the essential oil packet I've been eyeing, but it's like 17 bucks, but it comes with strawberry, pina colada, plumeria, coconut, ocean breeze, and peach. And they have so many different um, packets, like that one's summer and they have like a million other ones, but the summer is the one that I want. So I'll have to go ahead and actually get it. Anyways, oh my gosh, my forehead looks huge. It's time for your girl to go ahead and head out of here because it is now time for your girl to go to bed. I see your girl twice. That's okay. I'm your girl. I'm your best friend. It's time for you. I'm about to start heading to bed, you guys. When I lay down, it still takes me like hours to actually fall asleep. It's like an issue of mine. It's like I need to figure this out. Um. So yeah, I have nothing else to talk about. But... God bless you guys. Jesus loves you. And whatever you're waiting for is going to be well worth the wait, okay? Jesus is never going to fail you. And what he has for you is not going to be a day late. But a lot of the times what we're waiting for, we're not ready for just yet. So he's not going to give it to us just yet. He's going to give it to us right on time. So let's say you have like some popsicles and like some little candy bags, whatever the heck. And you plan on taking your kid and like their cousins or their friends to the park later on for them to have their popsicles and their candy for them to have like a little party, like have fun with it. And your kid wants it now. And they don't know that you have this plan to give it to everybody at once, they can all enjoy it together and kind of vibe and talk. And it's like, I want it now, I want it now. If you were to give it to them now, when it's time to go to the park, they're not gonna have their stuff. They already had it. And they definitely did not enjoy it as much as the other kids. I hope you guys are getting what I'm saying. I hope you guys are getting what I'm saying, but like, you know when it's time to give your kid the stuff, cause like you have better plans for it. And they're gonna enjoy it so much more and be so much more grateful for it when it's time to give it to them. They're gonna enjoy it, have so much more fun, vibe so much more, and take it in so much more than if you were to give it to them right now. But that's just like a little example. It's just like an example that Jesus gave me one time. He's like, it's not time, but when I do, it's gonna be perfect timing and you're gonna be so grateful that I didn't give it to you. You're gonna understand so much more that I didn't give it to you when you wanted it because my timing is perfect and it's not gonna be a day late. So with that being said, it is in route. Just like if you were checking on your packages, it's in route. It is on the way, but it's gonna take some time. I love every single one of you guys. God bless you all in Jesus' name. And it's time for your girl to go. Bye.